All right, welcome back to another video. I got a package in the mail yesterday and started to rip it open and figured why not do it on camera? Because the grade that I received looks like some type of error. This is from none other than Beckett. All right, first time grading with Beckett. I sent them, well, I'll show you the card. I sent them this card, all right? I wanted to be one of the few, I might as well tell you guys my idea, wanted to be one of the few to have this card graded with Beckett, CGC, and PSA, all right? Not gonna lie, I sent the best one I had to Beckett. This one, you can see a little bit of a white dot right there on the car. So I knew it wasn't gonna get a 10, knew it wasn't gonna be perfect, but still wanted to try my chance with PSA. So got this one back. Put the put the order in about the same time. I want to say paid for the shipping of like the 20 or 25 days, somewhere around there. And I did pay for a, about the same for this one. So I paid around 70 to 80 for both of these cars to be graded. Got this one a lot sooner. Had a coupon or discount. So I was able to get this cheaper, maybe $50 all said and done. This one was still $75, all right? So something that got me concerned is a couple days ago, I got, I paid $35 or should I say $34.99 for the 20 to 25 day sh turnaround. Plus the shipping, it came up to be in 70, close to $80. Sent it in on the 9th of October. And I got this back on the 25th of November. So that's how long it took. Now, granted, it doesn't include business day. So I got the 20 to 25 day, not included in business day. So a couple days ago, got my refund of my $35. Not the 40, because, you know, they're not going to refund me for shipping. But it had a gray of zero. So to have a grade of zero, I did not know what exactly that meant. So... Of course, this, this box barely fits my screen. I'll show you guys the dimension. So this is a pretty close to eight and a half by 11 diameter box. And it only has one card in it. So we've got this humongous box for this one card. And it is stuffed with paper. So my thought was, you know, we want to protect the graded card, even though I'm not sure what a zero was, but there's the box and it's, it's full of paper. So I will give them that they know how to pack their stuff. Because whatever zero means that you were gonna discover it. I mean, they still took their time in the packaging. All right, so here's the box and got more packaging you can see the uh, what I'm the card there make sure make sure there ain't no receipt in there all right so here's the card while looking at it it doesn't look like it was graded for some reason so definitely wanted to put this out for anybody that wanted to go with Beckett what you're in for or the possibility what you're in for i don't know if this was just for me but i'll, I'll explain more once i get to it all right there's my invoice let me make sure i don't dox myself or nothing like that get the rubber bands as you can see it has not been graded I'm not sure why because all the only information i got was that it was a uh zero whatever that means, all right, so I paid a total of $75.95 online payment and they refunded me $34.95. All right, and this says final grade, service unavailable. Not sure what that is, but hopefully that's what it says on the one side. This is what it says. Crude content. 
All right, so first off, I wanna say it did give me a chance to get a pop report, all right? I clicked on the pop report and if, when, I, when I find it, I'll show it on here. I did click on the pop report and it shows that there are three other cars that have been graded. I think there were nine, if, if I'm not mistaken, as well as a the Royal Blue Foil. One of those exists being graded by Beckett. That was the rarity, if you guys know about the Slim Shady cart. So this is the cart and crude content. I want to say probably Eminem Slim Shady sticking up his middle finger. But my point is that I get it. If you guys say crude content, you know what I mean? I understand that. But why would you grade other cards? I'm not sure why they graded three other ones. I'm not sure why they graded one Royal Blue Foil. I get it. The pop is very low. But if those people were able to get it graded, why couldn't I? I mean, I'm not sure why they chose that i mean I, there's other there's other stickers does not meet minimum grade what they mark mine service unavailable questionable authenticity that's a maybe a fake card evidence and color color added evidence of trimming and shaved below measure tolerance and possible tampering it did not besides the service unavailable all the rest are are good I guess but crude content I'm just not sure why you guys graded four other cards of this version which is it was a when this was released it was very popular it got sold out quick I paid well above MSRP for it got a couple of them so I mean I, I even have one right here Right here, this is what they look like when they first came. I'll show you guys. It came in one of those magnetic cases with a seal. And I broke the seal and got the card out to get it graded. And I, I don't know. I just want to know what your thoughts on it. Uh, first time anything like this has happened to me. I know this was a sought after cart. It's been graded three to four other times by Beckett. But I guess after the fourth time, maybe they, they said they're done. I, I'm not sure. I mean, if you guys can give me your thoughts on it, let me know. There's the front of it. As you can tell, the centering on that's pretty good. Nothing on the car. This one was in very, very better condition than the other one. That got a 9 from PSA. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Interested. If anybody who got some shady got it graded. I know. I want to say there's not a lot of them that got graded. But there's my PSA 9 one. Who knows? Maybe I'll send it in to get a PSA 10 or maybe I will try to email Beckett and, and find see if I can find some more information I don't know I have not seen anything on the website that would have said no crude content type cards but I'm, I'm not sure just let me know your thoughts on the matter and as always give this thumbs up like subscribe and definitely interested in hearing what you guys got to say. Have you guys ever submitted to Beckett and got something back like that? I don't know. I mean, to waste 70, I mean, I got $35 back, but the 40 is gone and I got a non-graded card. I don't know if somebody was having a bad day, but I, I mean, I get the crude content, but then don't grade none of them. There should be none as a pop. Well, you got four that I can clearly see, but all right, that's about it for my little rant, I guess. I mean, hopefully I ain't come off sound like no crybaby or not like that. I just, 
if, I mean, if you're gonna be fair, be fair across the board, I guess, is what I'm saying. And that's about it. I usually don't do this type of videos, but hopefully this will let other people know who have that card not to go with Beckett because you're probably gonna waste your money and it's gonna get sent back to you guys. Hopefully that was helpful. See you guys on the next one.